if I had come home and related to my dad that this buddy of mine was in trouble and all I did was watch him go down and eject, he would have said, did you try to help? And there was no way I could let myself go home and let that happen. I didn't have any choice. I had to stay and help. I began my career flying the mighty F-4 Phantom. After hearing how Captain Bob Pardo literally pushed his wingman's F-4 to a safer place, I got a clear sense of the courage and skill needed to be a good wingman, both in heroic times and in everyday life. Being a wingman entails a great deal of responsibility. Pardo's push isn't just about pilots and fighter jets. It's about teamwork, initiative, not giving up no matter the odds and finding any way you can to get yourself and others to safer or healthier places. When to find that way, the Pardo push simply becomes a concept of what it means to be a good wingman. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dave Ubalor, Chief Mental Health Consultant to the Air Force Reserve's Command Surgeon. I'm proud to introduce you to the Wingman Toolkit. The Toolkit is a powerful Air Force Reserve initiative designed to help you and others build resiliency and get to better places in life. That requires two things. First, each of us needs to take care of ourselves and ask for help when we need it. Second, we must stand ready and be able to assist others when they need help. In its most simple form, that's the wingman concept. The Wingman Toolkit rests on a broad foundation of well-being, providing the tools we all need to achieve and maintain wellness. The Builders Level displays the four pillars of comprehensive fitness, reminding us to maintain a balanced lifestyle. The Physical Pillar also offers information and resources that help you arrive at and sustain optimal health. In the mental pillar, you'll find information to help you understand human behaviors, be emotionally healthy, and psychologically strong. There's also links to other sites about coping, stress management, mental illness, substance abuse prevention, and much more. The spiritual pillar will help you remain connected to the beliefs, principles, and values that spiritually nourish us and sustain a sense of well-being and purpose. There's a great information for airmen and family members in the social pillar, like how to improve a poor relationship, nurture a good one, or make it through the teenage years. The toolkit has training materials like how to learn ACE, Ask, Care, Escort in 60 seconds. And it is the place to go when preparing for formal or informal Air Force trainings like Wingman Day. If you or someone you know is in an emotional crisis, click on the red Get Help bell in the top of the left corner. The bell also provides access to information about suicide prevention before you face a crisis. Those are just a few of the things you'll find in the Air Force Reserve Wingman Toolkit. The toolkit was built for airmen of all ranks and their families. Because it's a work in progress, we need your help. If you have a resource to add, see opportunities for improvement, or want to make a recommendation, contact the Wingman Toolkit team to provide feedback or consider adding to the toolkit by clicking the link at the bottom of the homepage. The Wingman Toolkit is a great resource to help us all be better wingmen. Please tell your fellow citizen airmen, family and friends about the toolkit. I need your help to help foster strong wingman culture and a culture of airmen who proactively take care of themselves and each other. I think that's important that people keep in their mind that if you just keep trying, eventually something will happen that shows you the way.